a lot of editors stack clips and Avid as alts and then mute them just to keep them on hand so that they can show a director or producer another version of something relatively quickly. And anything more than a shot or two, however, and you'll, you're likely going to be keeping that as a subsequence in a bin or something. And if your collaborators decide to pull the trigger on it, you or your assistant or whatever will uh, need to cut it in and make whatever adjustments um, to fit it. And none of this is usually too big a deal, and you could pretty much use the exact same workflow in Final Cut, but you've got something else at your disposal in Final Cut that you don't have in Avid, and that's called an audition. And auditions are a bit like a compound clip and that they're basically a shell that can contain other elements and they behave a little differently however and here's how you can use them you can use them for alternate takes um, so if you have another take of a line or whatever and you want to be able to quickly swap it out uh, add it to an audition and you can switch between any number of alts it works for audio and picture or a combination of the two and you'll notice that your cut will open or contract to make room for whatever length difference there may be between the different versions that you have. Another way you can use it is for alternate edits. So instead of just a shot, uh, you can build your auditions from compound clips so that they contain alternate edits instead of just shots. Again, this will adjust to make room for length differences as you switch between the two. So you can have this version here where we go into this kind of coverage for a moment of the scene. And you can have an alternate that you can right away switch to and show that to your collaborators and decide which way you want to go. And in the end, once a decision has been made and the dust is settled on, on your, your edit, you can easily finalize them, which means that the version in play will be added to the cut and the audition container itself will disappear. And you can use them for VFX shots also. So I'll go over this maybe a little more in a future video on VFX that hopefully I'll get around to doing, but uh, basically as new versions of VFX shots come in, they can be added to auditions so that all the previous versions are quickly accessible for uh, easy reference as well. So instead of stacking things up on multiple layers and adding additional tracks, you can just add these clips, these new shots, to auditions and cycle between them. Also, when you record with the voiceover tool, it'll automatically add your various takes to auditions. And that's it. Thanks. <laughs>